In this video, I want to show you how to use the VSDC video editor to create a green screen movie. I open the VSDC video editor off my desktop. It's this little icon here with some gray reels of film on it. And when you open it, it opens to this window with a lot of talk on it. First thing you're going to do is click New Project and click Finish. And the next thing comes up is a Transitions window. We don't need that, so X that out. And here is your Preview window and your Timeline. Now for an example, I'm going to use Anthony, who wanted to go to London to see the London Bridge and the Queen's Palace, Buckingham Palace. First thing I'm going to load are the pictures. And here is a picture of the London Bridge. I bring it up here onto the screen and I get a little plus sign. You can use this plus sign and drag it out over the whole screen and it will fill the area with a picture of London Bridge. The next thing was the Buckingham Palace. So I'm going to drag that on, get a plus sign, go up in the corner and drag out a picture of Buckingham Palace. OK, and then click. So now the last thing I need to add is Anthony's video. So I go back here. Here's Anthony's video. And I bring it over. And when I let go, it puts a little plus sign, it puts a little arrow sign and some boxes. You'll see if you hold your mouse down and drag it out, there's a little tiny picture of Anthony. I'm going to drag the corner to the upper left corner, and this corner I'll drag to the lower right corner. And now Anthony pretty much fills up the screen. It doesn't have to fill up everything because this is all actually going to become transparent. So there's Anthony. Click off him, and you're ready to go with that. But now notice my two pictures down here only take up about five seconds worth of time. So he wanted to see London Bridge for the first half of his talk. So I'll drag that to about there. And then Buckingham Palace, I'm going to move over and then drag it to the finish. If you only have one picture, you'll just drag it out to the finish. All right. Now I'm going to click Anthony, and I'm going to turn on green screen. The way I do that is to go up to Video Effects, and then down to Transparency, and finally Background Remover. When I click that, it comes up with a window. Just click OK for that. But notice over here on the right, this is the chroma key color. And it doesn't quite match the color that we were using, but you can get the color from the scene. When I click that, I get a little medicine dropper. And I can click over here. Whoa! All of a sudden, everything goes away. Pretty amazing. Now I can preview this. Click Preview. My name is Anthony, and I want to see London. I I want to see the London Bridge, we'll watch and I want to see switch to the next picture. where the Queen of London lives. Okay. There we go. So this is actually very good green screen uh, color removal. The last thing that we need to do is save our video. And I'm going to go up to the top, and it says Export Project. Click that. And now there are a number of video types that you can export to. We're going to export to a WMV file, Windows Media Video File. So I click that. And now it says it's going to save it in this directory. I'm going to change that to my uh, desktop. So I click that, click Desktop, and then click Save. And 
and you don't have to change anything else, just click Convert Files. And when you do that, it's going to sort of shuffle through the parts of the video. And you can watch the progress up here on these thermometers. And when it's all done, you will see on your desktop the uh, video that it created. All done. So let me bring down this, and there's the video that we created. My name is Anthony, and I want to see London. I nice looking video. Thank you.